This is where we actually use quick scene form flash to go around our pipe flashing. What we're actually doing is making some marks which is 75mm away from the pipe in all directions. It doesn't matter how wide the pipe is, we do the same thing. We use a straight edge uh, to make some uh, straight crayon marks to create a footprint where the uh, form flash is going to go. And then of course we use some Quick Prime Plus placed in that area. You'll notice the Quick Prime Plus exceeds the uh, crayon marks. This is to make sure that uh, we always have enough primer to go beyond any of the flashing tapes. Just quickly measure, measuring that, that we've got the a right amount of quick scene form flash to put into position. And we're rounding off the corners to make those more secure. Once the primer is ready to uh, be mated with the quick seam form flash, we'll remove the backing paper and offer it into place. Now what we need to do is make some marks on the back of the form flash um, in line with the pipe. What we're going to do here effectively is remove a bell-shaped um, section from the form flash. Well, the design of this makes sure that we have probably 25 millimeters of form flash just starting to creep up the edges of the pipe there. So we'll remove that section of the quick scene form flash and then offer the rest of the patch into position. finish off with the rollers, remove any of the air channels that are present at the uh, pipe edge, working from the back to the front to, to expel any air, and then of course finish with the silicon roller. Now we're going to repeat the procedure, but the second piece of quicksing form flash is going to overlap on the section that we're priming at the moment, so of course we need to uh, put some primer on to make sure that that uh, secondary piece of form flash will stay secure. And it's just a simple repeat procedure. Don't forget, of course, to remove any of the air channels, working with the penny roller, working from the centre of the pipe going outwards to the outer edges, and we'll remove any of the any potential air blisters being caught underneath the uh, flashing tape. Finish off with the silicon roller, of course. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put our final piece of the quick seam form flash onto the pipe, and well, we're going to measure the areas where it's needed. Um, we're going to mark 175mm up the pipe and 75mm uh, down onto the roof deck and we'll apply the primer to all these areas. Once we've established that of course that it is tacky we'll get our piece of form flash and apply it into position. We have to make sure that the vertical section goes on first, so we wrap it all the way across until it almost meets up with the place where we started. We need to bring part of this form flash down onto the roof deck, simply so we can prime that area. 
and we just need to, need to make sure that it's tacked off effectively. And once we've established that, we can then continue to overlap it and attach it to the vertical pipe. Once we've made sure that it's in position on the vertical, all we have to do then is offer the flange down onto the roof deck. And that will then sit securely. Finish off with the rollers to remove any potential air channels or any open sections of the flange itself.